Hello everybody, welcome back to I Tell I Have You. Today, we're gonna actually go right to chapter 6. Because, they have added my lines to the game, and clearly I'm gonna show that, that off. Like, I won't show you everything. Um, because they're constantly changing things. They're constantly changing things. Okay. This is my chapter. I'm in this game. 240 degrees. I like them apples. That may or may not be me. Who knows? I know. But my nose fucking itches. Okay. So, I am going to stick with the webcam because I'm getting pretty angry sometimes. And that's also cool. Uh, the auto scroll. Auto scroll? Is that what that's called? I don't know. Now, I did not show the weapon we're using in this stage. We, we have not, you have not seen, at least on this channel, this weapon. Okay. What it does, though, is makes you makes you go through things, like so. That's all you need to know. <laughs> that, that that's that's its function. Okay. I may have played this stage before. And I'll tell you right now, this stage makes me cry. <laughs> There are some, there's some elements in it that are quite difficult. Well, we just fucking died. I keep using it. Why am I using it? Oh, I saved it and then it fell. Ah. Oh. I may get angry at this fucking level. The anger is rising. Oh, that was close. I died a lot in this stage. A lot. And actually, the boss fight for this this game, for this for this this uh, this chapter, have not beaten it. Cause I got to it. Right, be right before break, and I was like, um, like right after I left town to go celebrate with my family, I, I got, I got, to, I got to the boss fight. At the time, my lines weren't in it, um, and I had to go. I, I didn't get a chance to beat it. And I was like, oh, I guess we'll figure it out on camera. So here we are figuring it out on camera. Cause I do play this game off camera quite a bit. And then I beat it. My first try. Whatever. Hmm. But those bumper cars. <laughs> I was like, those bumper cars, right? They're just the worst. But those fire rings, piece of Well, you know. Did it. We, 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 may, we, we may be on the boss fight now. Maybe. Maybe. Yep. I'll be quiet. <laughs> you and me, buddy. I always thought we were cut from the same cloth. Like to laugh, have fun, tell a good joke. Leave them in stitches, like my old man always said. Ah, oh, but somewhere along the way, you lost your sense of humor. It's always easy to laugh at some asshole with pie on his face. But when it's your face... You see, that's the difference between comedy and tragedy. Anyway, maybe this will cheer you up. Why did the jackass cross the town? To find the beaten body of his dead girlfriend. <laughs> Aw, not even a smile. That music, though. <laughs> so yeah, that that was me. I, I you know you you can you can comment below how I did. I don't know. They, they said they just wanted a creepy clown, so I did creepy clown. Hey mom, I'm a clown on a video game. Are you proud of me? Did I make it? So yeah, I don't know how to do this fight. Um, 
absolutely have no idea how to do it. Uh, okay, no hit by them. But I would assume that I use this somehow. Or maybe I, maybe I just survive? But when it's your face. I don't know, because I, 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 I could talk about that, doing the lines for that guy, I mean. I think when I did my audition for it, I just kind of sounded creepy and I did like a lot of laughing. Like, in their lines there wasn't laughing, but I added all the really, like, ha 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 ha! I'll that. And the, <laughs> another funny story that I always share people who give me characters is, the main roles I usually get, and it's gonna sound bad, but are usually psychotic characters. Um, I don't know if I could talk about this one though. Uh, for reasons I won't say what it's for, but I'll explain what the role was, okay? It's for a mod for a game, so that's very. Uh, here's, okay, actually, this, uh, this is how I'll say it. I won't say what the mod is, but I'll say what the game it's for, and I'll say that it's uh, very. Uh, people are. Excited for it, so it's a mod for Fallout New Vegas, and it's a it's a very highly anticipated. That's what I was looking for. A very high, highly anticipated mod. It's like the, the last big mod for for New Vegas because you know Fallout 4 came out, and I actually contacted them. And I was like, "Is there any role, like anything?" Because I've always wanted to be in a Fallout game in some capacity. I was like, "Is there any way I can be in this?" And they they sent me lines to, to just do like regular, you know, like uh oh, what's the Kaisar, there's Caesar's Legion. It was like just regular like them uh, enemies, and I did them just kind of like this, you know. And then with the, like I did like for Caesar and all that stuff like that. But uh, I did a couple on accident where I sounded like I was a, from like a psycho from Borderlands, and they were like, "Hey, that one line, we we really like that line. Do all the lines again with that that voice." I did all of them. They're like, "All right." We're gonna make you different characters. So now I play psychopathic people in the game that charge at you and explode. Um, so I've gotten that role. That's not a, like the, they are psychos. So they go kamikaze stuff like that. Gotten this guy. He's 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 like he looks like a psychotic clown. Uh, yeah. Uh, I think that's a, I think that's the only I can kind of talk about. I don't think I can talk about the other the other psychotic character that I'm playing. But yeah. <laughs> So it's kind of weird, but doing his voice, um, what, what, the first time I did Che, I think my voice was, it was deeper, if I recall. It was, it was not the voice I do for him now, which was the, like, actually the first time I recorded Che, well, these lines that you're hearing, I actually never did that voice before. It just kind of came to my head, and it just absolutely destroyed my throat. Like, it just destroyed my voice, um... It wasn't, it's not, it's, it's, and you can tell it's not that far from my voice, but it's like right in between, like my throat, like my dude, it's like right here. And it hurts a lot to do his voice. Not anymore, because I've, I've, because I, I taught myself how to do it without hurting my voice now that I've already done the lines for the game and they don't need any more lines from all I, from what I know. Fuck. Um, they don't need any more lines for him. So once I've, I've now, I've now conquered his voice without getting hurt and I don't have to do his lines anymore. <laughs> so, um, but when it's your face. And actually did a couple of the lines differently. Like I can't, I have to say I can't perfectly reenact his voice all the time. Uh, but yeah, uh, what, like what's he say? But somewhere along the way, you lost your sense of humor. I don't know if that's right, but yeah. What's he say? Yes, yeah, so I. I, I was, it was funny the first time I saw this. Um. That when, when when Shay says this joke about about the beaten body of his dead girlfriend, there was no ha 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 in it, and the developers added that because I added it in the ad lib. I didn't think they would. I thought, I thought they would just leave it as like ha ha ha, and that was it. And like they wouldn't add the text, but they did. That was cool. <laughs> I always thought we were cut from the same cloth. It's just, it's it's a, it's a kind of a cool thing. Like I know I know he's he, you know, I had love like. Like, I'm very happy that I got to do this character. And it's funny because people are like, people are probably gonna be like, it's just a boss character that you just fight and that's it. This, that means a lot to me, actually, though. Like, just to be in a game and hear my voice, it's, it means a lot to me. Like, it could be the smallest thing ever. 
I, I, I could have been a dude in some game where I just went like, sup, and that was my entire thing. And I would have been like, it's me, for like two seconds. At least, at least I'm a boss. I, I mean, that's pretty cool. I told my friends um, if they ever get a chance to play this game when, when it comes out, I'm like, go buy the game and kill me. And they're like, oh, we will. And I was like, well, geez. I purposely didn't tell them who I was playing because some of them won't watch this, so maybe they'll never know. The problem with that is that most of my other friends uh, who, who know about this, they, they all play console. And I don't think this has any plans for a console release. I don't know. And I know, I know it's for Windows and Linux, I believe. I mean, I'd be, I may be pulling. It's definitely for Windows. Obviously, I'm playing it. Um, guess, we guess we'll find out when it comes up. But I guess, like I said, this game would be amazing on Vita, in my opinion. I think it'd be great on the PS Vita. I would love it on the PS Vita. Oh, I would love it. So he'd probably be like, "Ah, oh, shit." You felt I'm all out of D and <laughs> Well, better switch to the pies. Oh, come on, be done. Did I do it? Oh, I did it. <laughs> Don't do it, Shay. You're gonna blow yourself up. They went this match. Oh, shit. Oh, whoa. All right, get out of there. He blew himself up. I just died. Malfunction? Oh, no. Oh, no. <sighs> the clown, Shay, is dead. I am dead. That was not his voice. But... I'm dead. I'm really dead. <laughs> Did he just have like a projection of himself running all day? Did I just turn it off? No. Okay, good. <sighs> There's my face. For the first time. I really want this music. It's just so beautiful. Oh, see, he, he's pretty in the pictures. That's cool. I don't know. What, I don't know what he was doing there, but we're we're in on this nice somber moment. 